Paul Kagame was born on October 23, 1957 in Tombwe, which was a village in southern Rwanda. Both Kagame's mother and father were a part of the Tutsi ethnic group and had royal connections to King Mutara. During Kagame's childhood, the Republic of Rwanda had still not become independent from their colonial power Belgium. At this time, the country was separated into three different cultural groups. The minority Tutsis, which Kagame was a part of and who were considered to be the ruling class. The majority Hutus, which were the majority of the agriculturists. And the Twa, which made up less than 1% of Rwanda's population. Because of Hutu resentment, Kagame and his family fled to Uganda in 1962 through fear of separation and death. Kagame returned to Rwanda to visit family and to learn more about the politics of the country a couple of years later. Kagame's military career began in 1979 where he joined the rebel army of Museveni, which was located in Uganda. After their first win against Amin, he was trained in espionage and later joined the National Resistance Army. In 1986, the NRA formed a new government where Museveni was inaugurated as president. The president then demoted Kagame because he was a Rwandan in a senior Ugandan position. This is when Kagame joined the Rwandan Patriotic Front. Prior to his presidential endeavors, he was the commander of the rebel forces until the end of 1994. There were many allegations that Kagame was one of the ones who ordered the assassination of the former president at the time, although there is no evidence to support this claim. After the genocide, he became the vice president and the minister of defense until he was elected president in 2000. He became the sixth president of the Republic of Rwanda and is currently still serving in office. In recent years, he is said to be an honorable man who has lifted the country from massive deficit both economically and culturally. He is now responsible for an 8% growth in GDP, 1 million Rwandas being lifted out of poverty, the country has now become the third most competitive economy in sub-Sahara Africa, and 73% of the population now has health care. On top of this, secondary enrollment has more than doubled between the years 2006 and 2012. And 2,229 kilometers of fiber optic cables have been laid throughout the country. In a speech by Kagame, he states, Faced with a difficult situation, you ask yourself, what is the alternative? But we choose to leave history of division behind. We choose to give confidence to our people that they can overcome any adversity. Bye.